you have a blueprint that works regardless how any artist you ever had felt about it. It worked. It worked for the locks. Right. You know what I'm saying? Definitely worked for Mace. It worked for Big. Worked for Craig Mack. It worked for everything that is bad boy. You know what I mean? And I'm coming to be a part of something. Right? So at that point, I understood the assignment. Right. Hmm. It's like, we got to, you know, it ain't broke. It ain't broke. Don't I'm going to get so. my opportunity to do life after death. Yeah. I just got to, do this. you know, I just got to make it through customs. That's all. Right, that's if I get it. through customs, I'm straight. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and, and at least that's what I thought. You know what I mean? Because now, from that compilation we do, we invented the remix. Mm. That's when the first I Need a Girl came out. Second one, he wanted to make a remix. I'm like, nah, they gotta be part two. Was y'all all in the studio together for that? What? The remix. Um, the one with Usher? Part yeah, two. Usher. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Because when I got the beat, it was a skeleton. It just shout, shout out to my man Coptic. He produced it. Yeah. 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 Coptic yeah. definitely produced shout that joint. Coptic. And Coptic kind of made my life miserable for like, I, I don't know, maybe a couple of days. I struggled with the beat because the way it came, it was just a skeleton. It mm. went then, 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 I'm like, then, 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 I'm like, what the fuck to do with this? You yeah, know right. what I'm saying? Because yeah. it, it didn't have all the bells and whistles. Right. It was just the, you know, I'm like, this, 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 I don't know. And with days went by, a couple of days went by, I sat in school for 15 hours, just taking all the abuse of this, this, this beat that was just like, <laughs> no, no, no. No, no. And Puff used to come in that joint lit, like, yo, like, like he would come in like, yo, what we got? Yeah. Like, like he knew right. this was it. Yeah, I'm just yeah. like, I don't know. I'm not there with you yet. I'm yeah. just not there, yeah. you know? I just wasn't there. So he said, all right, this is his way of making it easy. Then he had Justin Timberlake take a crack at it. He had Justin Timberlake, Genuine, and Usher. Usher murdered that joint. So now the next time I got the beat back, it had the, the chorus on the act. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So right. now I got a post. Like, you know, it ain't take me nothing but like maybe 15 minutes after that to wow. knock that joint out. Because now I had the vision, I had everything. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, he kind of spoke those words into existence. You know, we had a conversation. He was telling me about certain things that was taking place in his life. And it's like, he didn't know he was writing the joint. I'm so, in my mind, like, okay, yeah. you know, yeah. 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 That three-step process. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. That three-step yeah. process. One Whoa. for the teacher, one for the hood. Make it rap. That's bang, right. Bang, bang. That's right. So he's doing the version of the second form. Mm -hmm. Listening to it, I'm like, man, how can I translate this to somebody who, you know, got a diploma, like doctor or something. Right. But he's telling it like the jail. He's like, yo, son, real I got all this money. He named him Earl and this. I'm like, man, that's everybody's story. Oh, yeah. Like he became normal to me. Like it wasn't the puff daddy that everybody looked at. It's like he got the same problem as dude on the block. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? He just had a loss. They just ran, kicked this joint in, and now he got to go back to like, you know what I'm saying? Right. He got to start all over. And I was like, this is it. You know? And I wrote that joint. That joint hit. Second joint came. I mean, listen, that joint was like a 12,000 spins a week. Like, that joint, like, yeah. Couldn't get my, first, my first performance was in Radio City. Damn. Like literally, it wasn't like no club dates. I'm in Radio City. I never forget butterflies. Like I'm shook. Cause I mean, because it's Radio City. It ain't really like, you know what I'm saying? It ain't no real aviance to it that'll make you fearful. It's like this is Radio, Radio City. City. Mm -hmm. You know? And I remember like pacing, cause like he doing certain medleys. Cause you know, Puff got so many songs he's featured on. He could do an hour of just medleys. So I'm backstage pacing, my nerves is shot. I'm like, Man, this is Radio City. You know what I mean? <laughs> mm -hmm. And I remember asking, man, what's her name? 
I asked her, like, yo, was the lady outside front selling roses? Could you just give me, like, one long stem rose and take the thorns off? I slid up on the light, and, man, look, I'm going to come out from this side of the stage. I need to dim all the lights. I'm trying to create my moment. moment. This is right. my moment. You know what I'm saying? Puff don't even know I'm scheming like this. I'm just saying, <laughs> like, he on there lit. Right. You know, lights got him looking like the only person in the room. I'm like, I'm learning in real time, right on the spot. Like, okay, I'm going to come out this way. I need you to have a light. Fine. He's like, oh, I can do that for you, room. Perfect. She came with the rose. You know what I'm saying? I came out. Pandemonium. And I remember, like, extending the rose out. And, like, these girls, lilies, full-blown, MMA match for this one rose. <laughs> 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 girl that got it. I'm looking at the, the, the ones on the side, they looking at her like they just going. <laughs> My knock, hyenas. Yo, they about to knock all the French out of my mouth. <laughs> I might have panned and panned back. The girl was gone. <laughs> Somebody else was holding the road. I said, yo. <laughs> from that moment, I swear by Allah, from that, no that moment right there, I said, this is Powerful. <laughs> he was right. I don't want to be on tour with my dude. <laughs> I definitely don't want to be on tour with my dude. The hoodies went out the window Man, after that. Yo, I didn't what? want to get a beat that would what? land me on tour or even remotely close to my dude. One long stem rose and a little tweak of the light. Some good music. Some Yo. good music. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. And I remember when part two came out, he wanted to make it the remix. I'm like, nah. Because in my mind, I like, I own my publisher. Yeah. A remix, Because yeah. they would have put it under the same. The remix is just to extend the life of a song. Right. That joint is a beast. We're not doing a remix. We'll do part two. There it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was happy that he bought he, into it. Because in my mind, I was thinking solo. Because it really, initially, it was kind of presented as it was Mario Wine's record first. But the bridge that he did was like the only thing I think Puff liked. Then it's like it came to me. It's like, mm -hmm. okay, it's gonna be a single. So I'm thinking in my mind, I'm gonna call it Pretty Woman. I'm gonna do the whole Richard Gear, Julia Roberts look black. My mind is gone. This is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking out of the stratosphere. I'm like, I'm thinking enormous. Right. I think when I did the first verse on that joint, son just put that whole idea to sleep like. And I knew it, because I, I just felt the vibe. So I might want to do his verse too, because he ain't going to let me live. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Yeah, because like, you know, I was in, I'll never forget, I was in a bungalow. We was in the Circle House Studios in Miami, and, when my, and when Mario was in there trying to like add more to it. And I was just like, put a joint down. It was worry. like, let son hear that, seen his face. It was like, OK, let me just go ahead, get his joint. See, now, right. a moment like that, that's what I got to witness, because I remember you playing a verse to a remix of an R&B record uh -huh. in the studio. I'm sitting in the back. I think Mouse was there. His uh -huh. Fox was in the other room. Uh -huh. He was just sitting in your session talking shit. And he walked in, he's like, you want me to hit a record? Played it. And I was like, hey, you getting off on this. All right, cool. He turned it off, he was like, word. And I'm like, now write your verse. Yeah. <laughs> he walked yeah. out. And I was like, oh shit. <laughs> this how I go down here? Yeah, that's crazy. But see, that's the thing. And when you told me at the first time, I was like, oh, I ain't never known him to be like. But then I thought about it, like, it became a known thing that, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, when you have somebody that's your CEO, but he's also an artist. Right. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get past the fact that not involving him. Is mm -hmm. not involving millions and millions of people who know him. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's an ego thing, you know what I'm saying? That right. I had to remove and understand that, you know. But just like any artist, at some point, it's like I gotta get off this train. Right. Like for real, we can't. Yeah. This can't always be that. Be that. You know what I'm saying? And it can't always be like, okay, the momentum is there, and it's like now we're going back to giving you three verses of your own for you to like. You know, propel your career. Right. You know, and then the whole making of the band thing came. It was like my joint got pushed back to drop the band out. And I was like, so now, and this is why most people ask me, like, why I left. It wasn't so much about nothing to do with Puff, 
Puff ain't persuade me to be Muslim. I don't think he persuade you know, Mace to be Christian, Sean to be Jewish. Right. It's just that when you understand that this is a business, you know, and business is not going according to, you know, the work you put in. It's like, okay, listen, it was a time when you was at a rough patch. Me being the kind of dude I am, loyalty. I'm going to help you get right because that's what I learned in the street. If I help my man get money, I'm going to get money. You know right. what I'm saying? I think everybody, a lot of street dudes that came in the music business don't understand the dudes that you're dealing with, they from the street. So you right. can't come with the mentality expecting them to reciprocate something that you understand in the street. Right. They don't understand that. Right. You know? So that was my mentality. All right, cool. If I get this right, double back, get me right, everybody right. We're good. And we good. But when I start seeing, like, hold up, slipping a lot of Mickeys in there, dog. Like, let me um let, let, let me breathe. Like, let, let, come on, man. Like, I got I just got my first set of wings. Like, let me fly. Like, it was just, I started feeling like I was being impeded from growing. Like that time, your time was never gonna come. Well, the time was then. Right. Time came. So you no, were, but you know what yeah, I mean. The time came. The time was then. The right. time was at that moment. The push, the support, and everything that was needed to solidify that time for me wasn't there. This is hot for trap, trapper turn smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends sleep earth you heard. Got your baby mama thirst you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to surf you heard.